We're very used to how things are in our lives and we kind of go day to day and I think we're all kind of bored with some things. It's just nice to be surprised and kind of just experience the unexpected. Our story could exist, at least in its themes, with normal humans. But it'd be much funnier with Dad as an octopus. <laughs> The whole story of Dadliest Catch is that Octodad is keeping the secret of, of being an octopus from his family who have no idea because he thinks they'll like reject him. Who's that man with the, eight legs? the fun part of it is like it's these mundane situations, but they're made crazy because you're an octopus and you have no bones and you cause disaster wherever you exist. I mean, it's incredibly weird compared to everything else. Have you played Octodad before? Oh uh, yeah, I'm one of the developers of it. Young Horses, we are about nine people now. We're all from DePaul University here in Chicago, where we graduated pretty recently. <laughs> it's just crazy that, you know, we got out of school, we started making this silly game, and people like it. You have no idea why. We were a finalist in the Independent Games Festival, and that ended up kind of gaining some traction in the press, and so it was like, oh, okay, this thing has legs. When we're all together, it's like a terrible shining force of like... <laughs> shining force? Yeah, it's like, uh, like in Power Rangers, when all the Zords come together and they make one big Zord, and like if that Zord made a bunch of fart jokes, <laughs> that's what it's like when we're all together. This is a major uh, sex scene in our game. You have to mate male and female kelp spores when they both combine in the ball hole. <laughs> it's, a so it's a soil plot. We decided to be independent, and then we just kind of started making it. With this, since we're a small enough team, everything we're doing is us. Chris and Octodad have the same butt. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Octodad has no butt. I guess I don't have a butt. That's why we're here as a team. <laughs> yes. So Octodad is all of us in our own little ways. Going to New York for the PS4 launch event was pretty big, and I was actually, I don't know, I'm surprised time and time again when they invite us to these types of things because it seems like it's something so much bigger than like a small game like ours is, is like worthy of. Sony put us up with like our own demo room that for like two days we just got to sit in and kind of like press would file in and we'd explain the game to them and let them play and you know answer questions and do interviews and things like that. What do these new systems mean for any developers like you guys? It's just access to fans and players that we would normally never see. There's a team at Sony that's been very proactive in looking for games to bring to the PlayStation 4, which is a big change. You know, consoles didn't traditionally do that. You usually kind of had to knock hard on their door, but they're, they're actually coming out and looking for this stuff. A lot of times the way that we come across content is somebody just tweeting at us, you know, and then we're like, oh, let's check that out. Or we're looking at competitions that are running, or we're going to these little shows, whether it's a, you know, IndieCade in LA, or, or there's also an IndieCade in New York, you know, meeting with the developers, find out what they're about, and they're just popping over laptops and be like, why don't you check this out? Getting that kind of exposure for a team as small as ours with no real marketing budget is pretty amazing. I have a search tag for Octodad, which has exploded as far as people talking about it compared to when we were first starting. I love fan art and I keep it in a big archive. The game's not even out yet and we're already getting fans, fan content, people excited and it's just, it's going to be insane once we do come out. Our relationship with Sony has been that they are very supportive of us and it's just kind of like, do your thing. When do I wake up? Uh, when does this dream turn out not to be real? I hope it's like but... an Oz style thing where we're like looking at everybody in the bed and it's just all of us and they're like, you were there and you were there. There's an octopus man and you just start <laughs> screaming. Octodad's the Pixar version of Breaking Bad. Instead of cooking meth, he's secretly an octopus. He cares about his family, but they can never know. <laughs> we promise that no child will be addicted to Octodad. We can't promise that. <laughs> <laughs>
テンション。